Hello from SlideNerd and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In this video, I'm going to talk about the linear layout in Android in detail. Since times immemorial, we guys have been using linear layouts and we always wondered what are the different options available with the linear layout and first of all, why the hell do you call it a linear layout, right? These were the two questions you always had. So first, if you talk about the view structure in Android, what you have is something like this. At the root, when you say that you want to define your user interface in XML, what you have is we have a root tag. This root tag is actually a view group. Now inside this view group, there are views, there are other view groups, and inside the view groups, there are other views. Now if you're a beginner, you probably saw this diagram and you're confused right now. You're wondering what the hell is a view, what the hell is a view group, right? So here's the question, what is a view? A view is nothing but an object that takes some rectangular area on the screen and that responds to events. Like for example, when you click, if you take a button for an example, a button is a view, right? Because it takes some rectangular area on the screen and when you click on the button, it responds in some way. Now, if you talk about what is a view group, well, a view group is also a rectangular object. But remember, there is a very important difference. A view group is invisible, that is one. And two, a view group is responsible for arranging the views inside it. Now, remember, a view group can also contain other view groups, right? Now, if you guys are from an AWT background in Java or Swing background, then you probably know what I'm talking about. So, I'm talking about layouts, flow layout, grid layout, grid bag layout, and stuff like that. But otherwise, if you are completely new to the world of Android, you, I, I want you guys to remember one thing, that view is something that displays information. For example, button, edit text, text view. And view group is something that arranges the other elements that display information. For example, arranging the text views horizontally, vertically, and stuff like that. So here I have a demo app running which says hello world two times. You guys can see there are some different colors in the background. These colors represent the background color of the text view which I have used over here. And there is this red colored rectangle which you guys can see it's invisible rectangle, right? Now here is a text view which is a view object. There's another text view which is also a view object. And this invisible rectangle is a linear layout. Now what this linear layout does here is it is responsible for placing the views side by side along different columns inside the same row all right so the linear layout is basically responsible for arranging contents in the, in, inside the screen right and that is what a view group does now there are other types of view groups like there is relative layout there is a frame layout there is a table layout there is a grid layout and so on in the upcoming videos as we talk about different view groups i will also talk about the other view groups in detail but for now let's just focus on one that is the linear layout so how to use a linear layout well I'll show you exactly what needs to be done. First of all, you make the tag, open and close it. Now you're going to tell, you're telling Android that this should be the root of your entire view structure, or this should be the sole guy at the top of your XML file who's responsible for managing all the elements inside. Remember, every XML definition in Android for appearance requires that you mention who is the root. And here linear layout is the root in our case. So here, the first thing you need to specify is where the namespace is coming from right now. If you guys don't know what this means, remember all these tags, linear layout, text view, button, well, where are they defined? What is the meaning of them? And that can be found at this URL. And that is what your XML in this Android basically does. The second thing you need to specify is how big you want to be and how tall you want to be. Now again, if you see the values match parent, you're probably confused what it means. Remember, this is the root view, right? And as I said, it is at the topmost level when you talk about the view hierarchy. So you have to make sure that this occupies maximum space on the screen. Or in short, the match parent tells the Android system that, hey, I want all the available space on the screen, all right? And you're going to give me that. And that is what the match parent does. Again, you can put some values over here in my previous video about scaled pixels and density independent pixels. I've talked about those values DP and SP in detail. You guys can refer that video again if you don't know what the values are. So this complete invisible red rectangle is the linear layout. As you guys remember, it says match parent, give me all the available width, layout height, match parent, give me all the available height. The two things you have done properly, right? And then you have your text view, which again, you have to specify the width and height. Remember for all the components that is view and view groups, you have to specify how wide and how tall they are going to be. Here, I've simply said wrap content. Now wrap content means that give me only as much space as my content is for example here if you see hello world this text is only this much big right and that's exactly how wide you want it to be and that's exactly how tall also you want it to be and that is what your wrap content actually does here android text attribute this is the value which you see over here you're supposed to put these values inside a strings.xml file i have not done that here for simplicity all right next you have the button now 
Again, you have to specify the width and height. Again, you're telling Android that, hey, when I write that word button, only give me that much space that is needed to fit that word, all right? So again, if you see the button word, that's just how big the button, how wide the button is and how tall the button is, right? And now if you guys notice something, there is something going on. The text view and the button are adjacent to each other, right? The button is on the right side. Now, how did this happen? That is the what the linear layout basically does. The linear layout arranges stuff horizontally. If you add something else, it will go on the further right side, right? And how can you control whether this goes on right or whether you, it goes somewhere else? The linear layout only supports two modes of placing views. Either you can place them in the same row or you can place them in different rows. For example, if you say Android orientation is vertical, in that case, everything is going to come one below each other. And if you say horizontal, everything is going to come one near each other. All right. Now this Android orientation value is not required by default. Everything is horizontal. But if you want a vertical stuff, you have to say Android orientation is vertical. So I hope you guys have understood something about how the linear layout is structured. And next, let me show you what happens when you overdo things. All right, so here, if you guys see the diagram, what I have is I have a simple linear layout and I have a lot of text views. Hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world. And they keep going on, right? I've just copy pasted the entire thing like 50, 60 times, both inside my mobile and my tab. Now, if you guys see something, you will notice that the linear layout is very flexible here. There are less hello worlds and there is something at the end and then here there are more views displayed and there is something at the end right now remember when you put a large number of controls and the orientation is horizontal or you can say even vertical the linear layout is going to display only that many controls that fit on the screen it is not going to display the rest of them all right so you have to make sure that your layouts are optimized for different screen sizes for example here this is a mobile and this is a tab you have more screen space over here so what you can probably do is you can create a different layout with using resource qualifiers so that android can provide a better user interface to the person who is using a tab compared to the person who is using a mobile device right now again I will talk about resources in detail in a separate video but for now this is all I had to say about linear layout now again in the next vid I'm going to talk about uh, layout weight and then I will talk about gravity and layout gravity so if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching I'll catch you guys later have a nice day